Beware, weekend wankers, because this week's Brad Paisley lick is so tough that it might just give you a nervous breakdown. Hey kids, and welcome to this week's episode of Weekend Wank Shop, here with your best friend, Uncle Ben. Perhaps it's the extremely high quantities of cheap beer I've been consuming lately, or it could be the fact that I've been hanging around such country badass men as Andy Wood and Trav's toy Rascal Flats. But lately, I've really been digging into some great, disgusting country guitar playing. And of course, you can't talk about great, disgusting country guitar playing without mentioning Brad Paisley, who's one of the baddest dudes in the game right now. Yeah, Brad definitely worships at the altar of the almighty Brent Mason, but he puts his own spin on things with a lot of licks like this that feature tons of open string pull-offs, even if those strings aren't necessarily in key. That's one of his kind of trademarks of the style. This is the lethal opening hook to Brad's song, The Nervous Breakdown. It's in the neighborhood of G, and it is a total ball buster. But before we get into it, let's hear it again at Step Brad Speed. And as always, you can find full tabs for this week's lick on my Instagram page. So be sure to go over to Instagram and find Ben Eller Guitars and follow me over there. Learn how to play this week's lick and upload a video of yourself shredding through it along with the hashtag Weekend Wank Shop. It's important to have your tone set up right to get these licks to sound correct, so let's talk about that for a second. Use a solid body guitar, preferably with single coils, preferably a Telecaster, or a Strat would be the next best choice. But if you don't have anything like that around, such as myself, you should grab a guitar with humbuckers that split really well, like this wonderful Sir Modern Satin that I'm playing, and start hogging away at it that way. I also recommend using a clean tone with a lot of compression. All these country dudes love their compression, so be sure to dial that compressor up pretty high, whatever your rig is. This lick is based kind of sort of around the G minor pentatonic scale, and it even kind of visually represents the good old box pattern here of the notes G, B flat, C, D, F, and it'll continue G, B flat, C, D, F, G, and B flat. Again, that's just kind of your standard box position pentatonic scale. We're going to be using that plus a ton of pull-offs. The way this intro is put together is that it has this main lick that we're going to learn, and then it has its first ending. Then you play that main lick again, and a second ending. You play the main lick again, and then the first ending once more, before you close out with the final lick. So it kind of flip-flops between this main riff and a couple of different endings, and then finally the fourth part is something completely different. So first things first, let's learn this main lick right here. So what it's going to start off with is the third fret on the high E pulling off to open. I recommend using an upstroke for that. Then you're going to play the sixth fret on the B string here with a downstroke. And then you're going to hit the high E string open with your middle finger. You can see my uh, right arm hand over here in the frame here using my middle finger to hybrid pick that open high E. So once more, that's third fret E pulling off to open with an upstroke. Sixth fret B with a downstroke open high E string with that middle finger. Next what you're going to do is to play the 3rd fret B string with an upstroke, pull off to open. Play that 5th uh, fret here on the G string with a downstroke, hybrid pick your open B. Next you're going to play the 3rd fret G with an upstroke, pull off to open. Play the 5th fret on the D with a downstroke, then play your open G with a hybrid picked stroke. And lastly, you're going to play the 3rd fret on the D string here with an upstroke. Grab that 5th A with a down. And then play that open D string with your middle finger. So all together it sounds like this. That's what I'm going to call the main riff. After you play the main riff the first time, we're going to play this first ending. Which is pretty simple to do. More hybrid picking going on over here. What you're going to do is to play the 5th fret A and slide into 7. Notice I did that with a downstroke with the pick. Use your hybrid picked uh, middle finger here to grab the 5th fret G. And then basically you're just going to move that figure down a whole step. So 5th A, 3rd G, B 
we'll do that again. Pretty good stuff. That's a great way to show you too how you can use hybrid picking to keep your pick from having to dart all over the strings. Instead, your pick can just stay right here on the A string, with your middle finger hop around to the G. After that, you're gonna play the main riff again and follow through with the second end. Real goofy country stuff right here. I'm gonna slide into the ninth A this time. Grab the seven on the G with your hybrid picked middle finger. Move down a half step. So eighth fret A, sixth fret G. You barely hear this note, it's almost inaudible. And then you're gonna play the uh, next half step down. Seventh fret A, fifth fret G. So it's gonna go. Thankfully you get a little bit of a breather after you hit that C note there. After that, play the main riff again. First ending. And then we move on to the very last section. This last lick features a ton of legato and open strings, which compressor will really help level out. A lot of times those pull-offs and everything can get sounding kind of weak unless you got some compression on there to help smooth things out. So again, compression definitely helps all this sound better. How we're going to start is by playing the 5th fret G, pulling off to 3rd, pulling off to open. Next you're going to play the 5th fret D, and then play that open G over here with your middle finger. So that's play the same lick but on the D string. So 5, pull off to 3rd, pull off to open. So now we got this. Now the next part here we're going to play the 5th fret A, hybrid pick the 3rd fret D, and then on the A we're going to do a couple of pull offs here. I'm going to play 5, pull off to 4, pull off to 3, and then you're going to play open A, 1st sliding on to 2, Ending up here on the root note here, the third fret low E. So that last look was. So all together, the lick will be like this. Snazzy. So once more, all together slowly. And again, be sure to really watch what the right hand is doing over here. Start with the main riff. Another sick hick lick to add to the good old wank bank. Be sure to start that one off good and slow, making sure you're in control of all those pull-offs and all your hybrid picking and all that jazz and slowly work your tempo up. I recommend using a metronome or any kind of software on your computer where you can slow the original song down and practice along with it and gradually work that speed up. You gotta be totally in control when you're playing at those really high tempos. So start slow where you're in control, bring it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram over there at Ben Eller Guitars. Also, if you're interested in getting some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, be sure to drop me an email, benellerguitars at gmail.com. We'll talk rates and times and all that other good stuff. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and stay tuned next week for some more sick stuff. See you guys then. Cheers.